is coming to the season of giving. We've got Black Friday coming up as well as Christmas. Generally, people are gonna be gifting to their friends, family, their loved ones, certain gifts. And fragrances are not a bad choice at all. However, you don't wanna come lacking. You don't wanna give people bad fragrances that they're going to laugh at and laugh you out of the room. I'm kidding, they shouldn't do that to you, hopefully not. But for this video, we're gonna have 10 different fragrances for 10 different fragrance notes. So if you know that the other person that you're gifting to loves these fragrance notes, then check these out. These are some of the best for each fragrance notes. This video is in collaboration with Max Aroma. Although all opinions shared here today are 100% my own, we're doing a very special collaboration today for you guys. All of you watching this video will have access to a link that I'll leave in the description and in a pinned comment down below where you get early access, even earlier than the VIP members of Max Aroma to the Black Friday sale that Max Aroma are doing, which is a website that ships internationally. They do great prices, great fragrances. And this video, I've been gifted six of the 10 that's gonna be in the list today. Three of them are from very well-known brands and some of the other fragrances I've tried before, I know they're fantastic, so I asked them to send them to me. And, other, and the other three are from brands that are less well-known. They are niche and for that reason, I asked Max Roman to send me the top rated from each brand because I you know, read the fragrantical reviews, I'll read them out to you, give you a general impression of each fragrance before we get into them. So we've got 10 fragrances here today, let's get into it. The first fragrance notes, the person you're buying for loves vanilla. Vanilla is one of the best notes in perfumery. It's sweet, edible, it's kind of like, has like an ice cream effect to it. It's one of the most common notes in perfumery. Go for this, this is a safe option. And by the way guys, all 10 fragrances you're gonna see today are buyable from Max Aroma. Giorgio Armani's Code Eau de Parfum. You can go for Absolute, you can go for the new Parfum, but Eau de Parfum is a very safe option at 12 hours soft projecting vanilla fragrance mixed with other beautiful aromatic fresh citruses and suede and tonka bean. It's like a beautiful vanilla mix of all these other nice elegant ingredients together. It is a very elegant, well put together man's signature for most of the year round. So you can wear this any season apart from summertime. Maybe a guy who's very clean shaven, black suit, maybe Christian Bale <laughs> would wear something like this, honestly. It's very nice, very elegant, very safe. It's a classic DNA. A lot of girls have told me they love the code DNA on me. A more interesting gourmand note would be something like coffee. Coffee is a very interesting note that is a very much personal thing to a lot of people. Coffee can be associated with very good memories and a daily practice for a lot of people who drink it. So this is the fragrance I recommend, which is a 10 out of 10, definitely. Zerzhov's Uden. Easily one of the best releases from easily one of the best niche brands currently. Zerzhov Uden takes coffee, takes vanilla as well, but the coffee is a bigger player here. That, and then it doesn't play it in a very generic um, approach. A, coffee, a lot of coffee fragrances are very sweet, non-balanced. This is extremely balanced. This is a signature scent. I don't think there's any other coffee fragrances out there that can be a signature you can wear all year round. Lasting eight to 10 hours, soft to moderate projection. This is a clean, elegant, rich man signature who wants something interesting. Citruses, rum, <laughs> woods, and coffee, as well as some vanilla as well. This is a master, master class in perfumery. Um, I think, who could I see wearing something like this? I wear this a lot, personally, um, but I can also just see someone in a convertible wearing a bright white suit, wearing something like this. Uh, it's just, yeah, rich man's signature, honestly, but if you can afford it, I think it's easily worth the price, actually. It's a 10 out of 10, as I said. Maybe you or the person you're buying for likes amber fragrances. Amber is a more nuanced, sweet take on perfumery. It's more seductive, warm, and inviting. Al Gabra King of Flowers. Al Gabra Parfum is a new brand to me, so I asked for the highest rated fragrance on Fragrantica for this fragrance. It's got 4.59 out of five. And if you look at the note breakdown, it's a very interesting composition. Amber, sandalwood, and iris. It is a dark, mysterious, and very interesting fragrance. A classy chocolate, sweet vanilla, and balsamic scent. I just love it. Yeah, the name is a little bit misleading because this, this is very much an intense, 
I think, very strong amber fragrance. Amber and iris makes it a very unique scent. It sort of has this sort of jamminess to it. It's got a, a jammy, intense sweetness that has a Middle Eastern touch. I think this is gorgeous. The sandalwood balances out just nicely as well, just enough. And I get about 12 hours of this loud projection. This is a beast mode amber scent, basically. If you don't like how some amber fragrances like DMG The One Eau de Parfum does a loss on you, get something like this. This is intense and memorable. And overall simple, but just done very nicely. So I think this is a very nice fragrance overall. The kind of person I would imagine wearing something like this would be someone who's very reserved. Someone who you think is quiet when you first meet them, but they become very lively and chatty very nuanced and intriguing as a character and the more you get to know them. So yeah, this is an attention Grammy fragrance overall. I think it really gives a lot of personality to the wearer. Speaking of flowers, if you like the note of rose, which is a very robust, strong, complex note in perfumery, then this is the fragrance I recommend. Maison Francis Kurtjans L'Homme à la Rose, which I don't have my sample of anymore, but when I wore that fragrance, I knew it was a standout rose fragrance. For men, rose can be a tricky note to pull off. It can smell too feminine. It's traditionally more a feminine note, but L'Homme à la Rose balances it out a lot of woods, musks, and a lot of green notes. The green notes are a very easy way to make a fragrance more masculine. It's very long lasting. I've got like 10 hours with medium projection. So I think if a man wants a clean, intriguing rose signature to wear all year round, then L'Homme à la Rose is for you. It has a classic, clean, uplifting MFK style. You know, you want a very friendly, bright personality to wear something like this. Let's move on to some woods. We got Oud. Oud is one of the most expensive materials in the world. It's like 50 grand for a kilo. Eye-wateringly expensive. So a lot of perfumers will be crying um, <laughs> when they buy kilos of this, of this material. But yeah, Oud is a very, complex, can be challenging. It's it's infinite in the number of ways oud can be approached. There's so many different oud fragrances and different styles of oud perfumery. This is one of the best, more mature take and more intense take on oud. Initio Parfums Oud for Greatness. This takes spices like saffron, nutmeg, and mixes it with oud. This is definitely real oud in here. It's because I've had real oud perfumery sent to me before for other projects. And this is just very simple, but very nicely done, very intense and very mature. It's not really a sweet oud that's fun and playful. Yeah, this is strong, very masculine in my opinion, definitely a masculine scent with 12 hours, no, maybe 10 to 12 hours of longevity with medium to loud projection with this fragrance. A mature man's signature scent to wear only in the cold weather. Tall, well-built, bearded, dark bearded man wearing something like this. It has a slight Middle Eastern touch, but overall, I think it's gonna be a generally more approachable oud DNA that mature people are gonna love more. I think it's one of the, probably one of the stronger offerings from the brand from Nishio, everyone knows it. I, I prefer this a lot more than oud for happiness, <laughs> definitely. Speaking of the spices and oud for greatness, if you want a spicy fragrance, something that very much focuses mainly on that now, this is one of the best clove fragrances I've ever smelt. This is not a spicy sweet fragrance, this is spicy, dry, fresh, very masculine. Virtus Paris Monarch, and it's got this cool little magnetic lid here as well. It's got 4.41 out of 5 on Fragrantica. If you love Clive Christian X Man, you will love this one. It smells very close to X, great quality and better performance. This is one of the best fragrances for summer, it can work for all seasons. Also a perfect signature scent. So Clive Christian released some of the most expensive perfumes you'll ever see eye-wateringly expensive. I believe actually Drake, correct me if I'm wrong guys, but Drake wears Clive Christian X for men. Um, and I don't really see it matching him because this is very intense, boss-like, very masculine. Drake is going through a weird BBL phase. I do think this is very rich and gives celebr celebrity status um, <laughs> vibes here, but I think more like Ron Swanson, masculine mustache kind of, uh, of a vibe. Very intense, very dry, woody, almost, Fougere life with a very large focus on clove, and clove is one of the most intense, spicy notes in perfumery. It gives off a loud, intense warmth and fieriness to a fragrance, but it's not sweet. A lot of spicy fragrances go in the sweet direction. This is very fresh. What that comment said is true. I don't just see it for, yeah, I don't just see it for summer. As he said, it's an all year round signature. This is a rich man's signature again for a very intense personality celebrity status only. I think it's beautiful. I've not smelled any Clive Christian fragrances, but I can see why they're so expensive. It smells like this. This is, it smells definitely niche. 
I get 12 hours performance with a soft to moderate projection overall. However, if you want a safer and easier spicy fragrance that's also cheaper, for somebody who likes fruity notes, if you like fruity fragrance, go for Spice Bomb Infrared, which is the original Spice Bomb DNA, spicy cinnamon with sweet vanilla. I know vanilla is not one of the notes, but it smells like vanilla to me. And then mixed with other bright spices as well as red fruits is the official note breakdown. It smells very fruity, a bit more modern essentially. I feel like it's a more modern and more interesting take on the original Spice Bomb. I think it's a very solid release. I think I definitely prefer it over Night Vision, both of those fragrances. And I think it's, it's a very good cold weather signature. I imagine a, a younger guy wants a more fun, playful, spicy uh, fragrance that gives you maybe six to eight hours longevity with a medium amount of projection. So it's a very safe and easy signature scent for those kind of guys. Maybe you want a unique scent for someone. Maybe you or someone else likes white florals. White florals are a very tricky note. Again, similar to rose, more traditionally feminine. But this is a very masculine fragrance and it's one of the iconic white floral scents for men. Amouage Reflection 45. This is Reflection Man with 45% concentration. To put it in perspective, guys, um, the average fragrance on today's market will be like a 10% concentration. So this is 45. <laughs> this is uh, easily the most concentrated perfume I've owned, the, a traditional perfume in alcohol. So it almost has as much actual fragrance oil as alcohol. That's like having two eau de parfums in one bottle. That's why this is extremely expensive. This is what, like $500, 400 pounds. And yes, it is very difficult to spend that much money on one fragrance, unless it is perfect. Reflection Man to me is a seven out of 10, but this, I did not expect to love this so much. This is a 10 out of 10, honestly. I do not see how they could improve on this. They've taken that iconic white floral, sandalwood, a bit of vanilla DNA that sort of is reminiscent of the, the male DNA, sort of going in that direction. There was never a clone, Reflection Man was never a clone, but that, now they've added here a bit more intensity, more iris, that's probably why it's so expensive as well. They probably, I think they've used iris concrete, which is just as expensive as oud, eye-wateringly expensive. Uh, so they made a very intense concentration, a more balanced uh, Reflection Man now. Reflection Man was more of a summertime fragrance, this is an all-year scent. So if you want the perfect white floral, vanilla, iris, and sandalwood signature scent that just balances everything beautifully, this is very creamy, powdery, very smooth, perfect perfumery here. Um, I don't know how they did it. This is honestly something I cannot beat. Like I can't, I can't say how this can be improved. It's difficult to know that until you've tried. So maybe get a sample first before splurging 500 pounds. But if you just run it, if you just, um, you know, at a restaurant, just tap your card without looking at the price, maybe this is for you. A rich man signature to wear all year round. It smells very unique. I've always felt like Reflection Man's DNA was suited for wedding days. Maybe you or this person likes gourmand fragrances, edible fragrances. And with these kind of fragrances, perfumers have to recreate a cords to make something. So this fragrance has tiramisu and it's fantastic. It's Mancera's Crazy for Oud which I discussed in our recent Mancera buying guide video. It is tiramisu mixed with whiskey, fresh nose, tonka bean, and I feel like it's a very nicely balanced scent DNA. Gourmand fragrances can be annoyingly too sweet and cloying and headache inducing. This is the perfect kind of fragrance for a person who wants to wear a cold weather signature. Maybe not for the office, but you're gonna get a solid eight to 10 hour casual wear fragrance for both day and nighttime in cold weather that I think is one of the best from the brand and it's a great gourmand scent. And finally, incense, a note that is smoky, seductive, intense, has a slight exotic Middle Eastern hint to it. This is the fragrance to check out. Milano Fragranzis Basilica. And check out this little <laughs> magnetic lid as well, fantastic. <laughs> 4.2 out of five on Fragrantica. And you'll see it has that incense here, but it also has a very interesting milk note in here, which I'll talk about in a second. Intoxicating, boozy, and creamy incense scent. Herbie Gourmand, I have no idea how to describe this. It's just good. Yeah, when I looked at the note breakdown of this, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I thought it was gonna be clumsy, like a weird clash of notes, but actually it's a very interesting fragrance. This is definitely for somebody who wants to try out creative perfumery because they've taken very intense, herbaceous, again, masculine notes. So herbaceous green notes that could be too cloying, uh, but they made them very smooth with this milk accord, which does actually smell like milk. It smells like green herbs, milk, and incense. 
uh, with a very woody backbone to this as well. But overall, perfectly balanced and very smooth. So when, you, when I describe this nose to you, it just doesn't sound like it's gonna work, but <laughs> this fragrance does. I think it's a very good perfume. Again, I would say this is a cold weather signature for somebody who really loves perfumery. So this is people who are really into their niche stuff, want creative accords like milk in here. A very dry, woody, clean, herbaceous, incense and milk fragrance here. Very unique, very, 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 very interesting. If you like fragrances like Santal 33 by Le Labo, or if you like Floriental by Conde Garçon, you like this style of perfumery. This is like a, a niche, more even more niche um, approach to that kind of DNA. And that concludes the video, guys. Again, Max Aroma are offering to you the Black Friday sales ahead of time. So hopefully you guys will check out some of these fragrances I mentioned today, and you will head over to Max Aroma and purchase some gifts for yourself or for other people. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. Make sure to check out our other videos on fragrance notes, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.